Hello and welcome to our home tech. In this video, we're going to talk about how to back up your Kodi system. Now, Kodi 17 is out. Everyone's wanted to upgrade. Just before upgrade, backing up your old system is a really good idea. I'm going to show you how to back up complete backup, including all your add-ons and all your user data and everything. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now you can see my Kodi system. Um, this I'm running on 16.1 Kodi. You can see that uh, I'm still running 16.1. Uh, so I just wanted to make a backup of this. So, so I'm going to use, um, uh, you can see all my uh, video add-ons, repos and everything in, in here. So it's better, a good idea to make a backup just before uh, I'm going to do an upgrade. So on this one I go to, I'm doing my PC, Windows PC or C drive. I made a folder called Kodi Backups. So you can uh, do that there or we can do it anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead to System and go to File Manager. I'm going to add Fusion Repo. So you need to add a source. Click Add a Source. HTTP dot forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. So once you click um add fusion tv add-ons ag then you click done so you can name it anything but i'm going to name it fusion you can name it anything once you click done okay so i'm going to go back to home again click system again so we need to install that repo so go to add-ons then install from zip file so we're going to go to fusion so from fusion you need to click begin here so you need to download this indigo add-on so this is one of the new add-ons from um Fusion, once it's downloaded, you will have that message saying like Indigo add-on is enabled now. So, once you um, enable this add-on, we need to go home again. So, we will go under Program Add-ons. So, go to Programs, Program Add-ons, Indigo. So, Indigo is a brand new development from TV add-ons, you know, which is, looks very good. All the tweaks and repos, all the add-ons, are everything in one place. So, today, we're going to just look at Backup and Restore. Click Backup and Restore. So now, first thing you need to do is to set the backup location. You remember, we have put the location to C drive. So you need to click choose your backup storage location and you need to navigate into your C drive. Then um, I'm going to choose the Kodi backup folder, which I created. I'm going to click OK. So if you choose somewhere else, then you need to choose that location. So leave everything as it is. You know, you need to change anything and just click OK. So next thing you need to do is Take a full backup. It's recommended to take a full backup. You know, uh, it's always a good idea to take a full backup. It's depending on how big your Kodi system. It may take a little while. So I'm going to click this take a full backup option. So you can name your backup um, anything you wanted to. Normally, I I do a backup with the dates. So I know that I have backup on this date. So I normally give a, a name with a backup date. So I'm going to call it as backup that today's date then just wait for it to be done so it may take a while because of if you be if your build is really big it may take a while but wait patiently so once it's completed you will get a message saying that your backup is done so once it's done you'll get this message look your backup is done completed so now if i go to c drive and um call the backup folder that backup will be down there so according with the names that you had given i'm going to show you in a minute there you go so in my c drive Kodi backup. I'm going to open that folder. You can see that backup folder is down there. This is how you back up your Kodi system. So just before you upgrade, hopefully this video is really, really helpful. If you like this video, please do a thumbs up and also share with your friends and family. Do comment down below. Uh, I really appreciate if you share with your friends and family. I'd like to see you in another video. Thank you for watching.